but we can go another 15 minutes if we need to be easy. But, <laughs> but um, I, I wanted to ask you this question because it has to do with sowing and reaping. Yes. We used to have an intercessor friend, uh, we're, we're not in touch right now, but she, she would often pray. She was talking about the believers and she would pray this prayer about, I think it was during moments of confession and repentance. And then she would, she would pray something along the lines of Lord, um, I don't remember her exact words, but it was like, Lord, cancel out any sowing and reaping that's due to us. And she would pray a prayer to stop sowing and reaping. Uh, is because you a minute ago to you're talking about a bad scope. harvest. Yeah, she because a minute ago you're saying yeah. if you've got a harvest, you're going to get the harvest. But she was praying, Lord, don't let us yes, have the that's harvest. Right. Is that a legitimate prayer then? That's exactly right. And so that is a legitimate prayer. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Now watch this. But what I was trying to do is establish the government. Why okay. things happen the way they happen. Right. Okay. There was a friend of mine who went to heaven the other day. Okay. People couldn't. You know they would. They saw what happened to him. He went in the hospital with his heart. He had mm. these issues. Mm. Then they had to go back in when they found another complication, mm. but he passed the next day. Okay. Okay. And people will say, well, we prayed, we did this, that. Okay, but watch this. Here's what people might not have known. My friend, he beat cancer in his life. He beat it years ago, 20 years ago. And he was had a clean bill of health. And he said his whole life, he said, I won't die of cancer. I'll, I'll, I'll never have this again. I'm not going to die of cancer. I don't want to die of cancer. But listen to what he said. He said it was his heart that would kill him. Oh he said his heart would kill him. Oh and he no. said it his whole life. And he said that and he said that. And the day he went in the hospital, he went and got his hair cut. And he had a neat haircut. And they said, what are you doing? He said, because if I don't come out of here, I'm preparing to meet the Lord with a clean haircut. And he was serious. He Now, now you tell me. People say, well, God was in control. Who does it sound like was in control? Well, it sounds like he was in control of that it's be, one. It's because your words, you sow seed day and yeah. night, night and day, and you don't know it. But the, wor the world was created with words, and it's made to respond to your words. And are you saying, uh, Robin, because we you came off of this one point, uh, or you're piggybacking on the one point, if he had somehow a week or two before that, whenever, he said, Lord, I've been speaking against my soul and my body my whole life. I repent for for prophesying that my heart was killing. Yeah. Please stop the sowing and reaping, blah, blah, it blah. De it depends if he believes it. Okay, he has to okay, it. okay, let me say this. Okay, there was a man in a, in a church, and he said, uh, this was his joke, Steve, for 20 years. He said, I'll see you next week if I don't get killed by a train before midnight. And everybody <laughs> just laughed and laughed because it was absurd to think a train would hit him. Yeah. So he said this for about 20 years. One night, he was sitting at his house. He got this idea that he, he just had this leading to go to the store and get milk and bread. And on the way to the store, about 11.55 or something oh, like that, man. he was crossing these railroad tracks. And for whatever reason, he never saw the train coming. And it killed him right before oh, midnight. Oh, man. And people wondered, why in the world was that? Why this is, is that? a true story, huh? Uh, I guess so. It was told for truth. Yeah. And they said, why, why would God allow that? Well, God didn't allow it. But you didn't hear the conversation. You never knew what he said for 20 years. You yeah. never knew what his words were. You never knew where it went. Okay, but watch this. The scripture says that your tongue can deceive your heart. Oh, yeah, wow. Your own tongue can deceive your heart. He thought God was leading into that yeah. story. Oh, that wow. Wow, wow. See, um, Rob, Robin, can can you do this? Because I'm now I'm sensing a lot of people are out there going, man, I've been saying stuff like that my whole yeah. life. I've been saying, you know, can you talk to people about what to do once oh, they this, just realize? That's the most do? beautiful thing you could have asked right okay, there. Okay, cool. Because here is where you can absolutely remember this. The scripture says this in Psalm 8. Do you remember this? Now, I'm laughing because I see where it's about to go. People will <laughs> shout in just a minute. Okay, awesome. Remember the scripture said in Psalm 8, it says, Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings yeah. hast thou ordained strength. Hmm. that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. Now, the enemy, you know who he is. Yeah. But you know what? Avenger means recompense. Avenger means a bad harvest. So he said, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, you put something in them that can stop the enemy and stop any bad harvest they have coming to them. And so Jesus quoted the same scripture in, Ma in the book of Matthew. And he said, out of the mouth of babes and sucklings, hast thou ordained praise, praise. Jesus said the word strength there is the word praise. And he said that you might stop the enemy and stop a bad harvest. So now we just learned something that will stop a bad harvest from coming. And the enemy cannot work with you outside that government, Steve. He can't do anything to you outside of that government. He can't, uh, God can't get anything to you outside of that government. It's going to come from seed, plant, harvest. You got born again of what? The incorruptible seed mm -hmm. of the Word of God. The name Jesus means Jehovah saved. Jehovah saved. Jesus said, I'm like a seed. Unless I die and be planted in the ground, I can't grow up and bring everybody in. He said, into thy hands I, I commend my spirit. Those words in Greek means, into your instrument I deposit all that I am. So he was planting himself as a seed. And his name means the law of God. The government of God has saved. He became the salvation in it. So he said, when you see bad harvest and you want to stop it, the first thing you do is begin to praise. You start lifting up your praise to God. And you start saying out of your mouth, Lord, 
all this bad seed that I've sown that I don't even know I've planted. I repent of it, first of all, and now I just want to praise you, and I send out this blanket of praise over my ground wow. to just lay down and stop anything in this spiritual garden that could ever come up against me. Okay. Now, now let me say this, and then one more thing, and then we're out of time. Yeah, okay. okay. Okay, you ready? Yep. When Joseph was on the, the throne of Egypt, when he was the guy next to Pharaoh, and his brothers, uh, he, you remember he kept Benjamin. He was mm -hmm. going to keep Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Well, it was Judah that said to him, take me instead of Benjamin. Let the boy go and take me for the harvest he deserves. You take me instead. Judah means praise. So your praise takes your place. It will take your place and, and take the harvest that you should have had coming to you. That's good, good. Okay, now the next thing is this. Here's one more way you stop it. Remember, and in, in, well, you don't remember it, but you've read it where, where Moses sent, he, he, told, he told Pharaoh, he said, Israel, thus saith the Lord, he heard the harvest. Mm -hmm. He said, Israel's my firstborn. Either let my firstborn loose, or I, the Lord, will kill your firstborn. Remember that? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. okay. So he said, at midnight, the death angel's coming by every house. Take the lamb's blood, put it over the doorpost. Now, if God's people was just exempt from that harvest, why did they have to do it? Oh, wow. Yeah, interesting. The, the same harvest was coming to them that was coming to the Egyptians because they had the same harvest due to them. They were living the same way as the Egyptians. So they put the blood over the door, and the death angel, who is a reaper, passed them by. So praise and the blood of Jesus cancels the bad harvest that's coming to your household. But if you don't know it, you never can apply the blood, yeah. and you yeah. never will praise on purpose. Yeah. And if you think God's doing it, Satan's job is half done for him already. Yeah. It's already done because you ain't going to fight God. Yeah. Not if you think he's doing it. And if you say, well, I deserve this, I had this coming, you're still going to reap. You're just, yeah. Well, you God, just reinforce God's not going to pull back because you just said he I can't. Have this coming. He can't. So how do you, he can't violate his law or his word. So how do you, how do you apply the blood? Jesus is the word and the word is Jesus. You find the scripture and you, you plead that. That's your spotless sacrifice is the lamb of God. Take the scripture and lay it on the altar. Don't go down there with your one-eyed chickens and all that and try to put it on the altar. Start mm -hmm. saying how bad you are. Lay the answer on the altar and say, here is my lamb. I lay this up here. I plead the blood. This is the, I'm applying the blood over my house. I praise you for stopping a bad harvest. I ask you to let my praise take my place now. And God says, that's legal. You can't, and, and the enemy and the avenger, you have to stop and the harvest has to stop. You can't get near them now. Wow. And so now you just learn how to live on purpose. So you see people do this all the time, Steve. Yeah. And remember what, what the Lord asked, jo uh, asked Satan when he went up to get Job's harvest? He said, where have you been? He said, walking to and fro in the earth and going up and down in it. He's climbing that ladder Jacob saw, going up and down it, bringing harvest, going mm. up, bringing it back. And he said, well, you can't kill Job. He hadn't sowed a seed to die. He sowed a seed to lose his stuff, but not to die. And then you'll find different things he sowed for. Mm. And at the end of it, the Lord, the Lord told Job, said, gird up your loins like a man. He said, declare to me, and I'll demand it come to pass. He said, you have to start sowing the seed, man. You have to start talking like I created a man to live. And you have to start living like me in the earth because you are in the God class. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So. Really, really good. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, there aren't no words because that's profound today. Very profound. Thank you so much for giving the, um, the how-to to, because I know a lot of people, I'm going to do that. I mean, I don't have something at the top of my head, but I know, well, you know, in my example would have been, I've said a lot in my life, I had this coming. I have well, this coming, you know? what about this, Steve? People say, watch this. People will say this. Their back's killing them. Their head's yeah. busting open. Uh, and if you ask them, if you say, you going down there? I'm afraid not. Uh, and somebody yeah. will say, that scares me to death. Yeah. And you just start, keep saying things yeah. like that. And you may be joking like yeah. the guy with the train. But one day, yeah. you're going to say it one too many times. Yeah. And it will reinforce it inside you. And you will be convinced God caused this to happen to you. Yeah, I used to say, you know, well, let me play the devil's advocate. I don't do that anymore. I say, let me <laughs> let me play the angel's advocate. Let's talk yeah, about yeah. this, you know. Yeah, I'm not going to be the devil's lawyer. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> I ain't going to do it, man. No. Well, uh, Robin, you, you feel like that? Go ahead and just pray for the people. Yeah, I, I, would be I appreciate it so much. Well, to start with, I love the people. Yeah, and, uh, I know you do. And, and I, I pray that their life, their success in life. See, knowledge is power. And anointing is released by knowledge. Mm, yeah. Anointing is released by knowledge. So, Lord God, I pray mm. that you let the seeds that were sown today in the ears of the people yeah. sink deep in their hearts and it grow up and become greater than any problem they face. Yeah. Lord God, let them begin to see, Lord, how much you love them and how you're absolutely good and how Jesus took every harvest yeah. that they had coming to them. Yeah. And all they need do is apply praise and the scripture and yeah. the word and stand on it to walk free of this thing. And, Lord God, let it become real to them. And I give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name. 
Amen. 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 So Robin, uh, people can get a hold of you at robindbullock.com. I mean, sometimes yes. we have it up 